please subscribe and like yeah welcome to math help so today we'll be treating permutation and combination a very important uh, topic in wasi it's a constant topic that always appear in wasi exams so what is a permutation permutation is the arrangement of objects taking the order into consideration the formula given here is n factorial over n minus r or factorial where n is the number of terms number of terms and r is the number of items to be picked number of items items picked so in permutation and combination it's all about a selection of items putting them back in selecting them arranging them so it's it involves arrangement and selection arrangement and selection now example of permutation we said in permutation the key point here is order for permutation in permutation the order is considered the order is important example if you are given a question a b c a b c there are three items you have to arrange this if you write this as b a c it, the order is very important in permutation a b c is not the same as b a c these two are different items altogether likewise you can have c a b this one too is different from this although they contain the same items a that's a b c but the arrangement is different here a is one here b is two here c is three here b is one a is two c is three here c is one a is two b is three so when we say taking the order into consideration we mean that the positions are very are very important in permutation so permutation positions are very important they are very important now and the formula is n factorial all over n minus r all factorial we will solve one example and a permutation right now now let's move on to combination now we want to establish the difference between permutation and combination now it's combination combination is the arrangement of objects with the order not considered so no ordering is involved no ordering and the formula is n combination r equals n factorial all over r factorial times n minus r all factorial where n is the number of terms the number of terms and r is the number of items picked so if i say the number of terms example using the abcd as an example a b c the number of terms here is three so n here is three because we have a as one term b as two c as three so we have three items here so the number of terms here is three now if we are asked to arrange this picking three at a time then r becomes three because we picked a b c in a question if in a question so this combination so in a question if you ask uh, uh, r you have these items a b c number of terms here is three now the number of items picked if you are asked arrange in two by uh, arrange in twos so that means you have a b b c a c in this way r is two so number of terms is the number of items in the object they have given you and r stands for the number of time or the number of objects picked at a time now let's permutation and combination let's find the difference 
So we have permutation. Now, combination. Now, you are given A, B, C. In how many ways can this A, B, C be arranged? In how many ways can A, B, C be arranged if the order is not important? If the order is not important? If the order is not so, if the order is not important, means that we are talking about combination. But if the order is important, then we are talking about permutation. So let's solve permutation first. So arrange A, B, C, taking into consideration the order. So the number of terms here is A, B, C, is three. Taking three at a time. So R is also 3. So we know the formula to be N permutation N minus R permutation. So we go. So 3 factorial over 3 minus 3 or factorial. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. Then, 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 factorial. By convention, 0 factorial equals 1. So, here we are going to get 3 times 2 times 1 all over 1. We can arrange A, B, C, picking all 3 at a time in 6 different ways. Taking into consideration the position. So now let's work this out manually. We are going to get A, B, C first. A, C, B. We can get B, A, C. We can get B, C, A. We can get C, A, B. Then we can get C, B, A. These are the possible arrangements. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this. These are the possible arrangements we can have in arranging A, B, C. A, B, C, A, C, B, B, A, C, B, C, A, C, A, B, C, B, A. Here, the positions are considered very important. So in permutation, the positions are considered very important. Now, let's solve this same question with combination. With combination. Now, in combination, in combination, the order is not important. Whether, if we, if, so arrange this, picking three at a time. So it is N, N combination R equals N factorial over R factorial times N minus R all factorial. In combination, the order is not important. So if I write A, B, C, B, A, C, C, A, B, they are all the same thing. These are all the same thing. A is here, A is here. B is here, B is here. C is here, C is here, C is here. So, in essence, in combination, the order is not important. Whether you are one, you are two, you are three. B here is one, A here is two, here is three. It is all the same thing. So, in essence, A, B, C, D can be arranged as a, B, C. A, B, C can be arranged as A, B, C. We can't arrange this in any other way again. Picking three at a time, this cannot be arranged in any other form again. Now let's prove it. 
So, number of terms here is three. We are picking three at a time. So, R is three. N is three minus three, all factorial. Now, three factorial will be three times two times one. Now, three factorial times three minus three is zero. So, zero factorial. So, we are going to get three factorial is the same as three times two times one. Zero factorial is one. So we get three times two times one all over three times two times one times one. Here equals six. Here will be equal to six is one. So the number of the number of ways we can arrange we can arrange A B C in a combination without considering its position. Is one. The position is not important. So thanks for joining us on Math Help. We will be coming your way with more series on permutation and combination with Wasi frequently asked questions. Follow us and you are going to really get the concept under permutation and combination. Thanks for joining us on Math Help. See you in our next lesson. Bye.